We all have a special place in our hearts for our first watch. Whether it's the one we got as a child or a cherished gift from our parents, that watch often marks the beginning of our love for timepieces. One watch that holds deep sentimental value for me is the one my dad gave me. It's been in our family for over a decade and has served as my daily watch on and off for the past 15 years. After some reflection, I've come to realize that this brand deserves more recognition than some of the more well-known luxury brands. I've decided not to mention those brands on this channel anymore because they don't fit into the ethos of an affordable collection, nor do they project a genuine and humble image. Despite their impressive history, their flashy marketing inflated prices on the grey market and the scarcity of their products in stores don't align with the philosophy of this channel. There are other watch manufacturers that are even more deserving of our attention, and one of them is Mühle Glashütte. This German company with a legacy spanning six generations in the timekeeping and tools industry embodies true value. For the past 15 years, I've had the privilege of wearing one of their most reliable timepieces. The model I own was a gift from my father when I turned 14. To give you a little bit of context, this watch has been enduring considerable wear and tear without even needing servicing or any kind of adjustment. The model I own is the Mühle Glashütte Terrasport Lufthansa Edition. A limited edition watch created exclusively for Lufthansa airline customers. It was purchased during a flight back when these watches were sold on board for around 700-800 euros. Today their value has increased with prices now exceeding 1000 euros. The Lufthansa edition has been discontinued, leaving only the standard TerraSport 2 model available on their official website. While the basic version closely resembles my watch, mine features distinct characteristics that set it apart from many other iterations. Starting with the dial and hands, the absence of a red-tipped seconds hand gives this version a versatile appeal. Despite being designed as a pilot's watch, this specific model is suitable for a variety of occasions including even dressier situations. Its design lacks the overly rugged aesthetic typical of aviator watches, making it an excellent all-around timepiece. Now, the dial on this beauty is a deep matte black, creating a striking contrast with the crisp white numerals and markers. It's not just about the readability here, the dial displays an understated elegance that speaks volumes without shouting, now, the loom. It's applied with precision, glowing a soft, subtle green superluminova in low light. And it's enough to ensure you can see the time, but without blinding you. Is it functional? Yes, but there's an undeniable aesthetic pleasure in how it complements the overall design. The white date window against the black dial, while it does offer a decent contrast that makes the date readable at a glance, is not without its drawbacks. The stark contrast can sometimes seem jarring, detracting from the watch's otherwise sleek, minimalist appearance and German design. Though, when we think about German design, we think about Bauhaus and simplicity, that brings forward the tool side of a product. Firstly, this line was thought as a tool first, and as a design piece second. Maybe this is why the brand always chooses not to brag too much about their name, making it a statement icon like other brands. Instead, they chose a simple and humble approach to print their name on the dial and display only the necessary data that the owner needs to know about it. It is automatic, made in Germany, and the printed brand's name to make their performance remembered every time you glance to the dial when in a hurry or late to your train.
So the heart of this watch is the SW200-1 movement, taking away at 28,800 bits per hour. Basically, a souped-up Celita SW200 with a mullet twist. Even after 15 years of zero servicing, it only loses 2 to 5 seconds a day. It's as precise as it was on day 1 and outperforms many COSC certified movements that need a servicing every decade. When this one eventually does give up, I'll probably just need a new Salita to keep ticking for another 15-20 years. I wouldn't mind a more decorative movement since it's on display, but hey, <laughs> that's just me. Moving on to the case. Its solid 316L stainless steel case is brushed to keep things low-key and functional rather than flashy. It's got that classic aviator look with long waved lugs that make the 40mm case feel more like 41-42mm on the wrist. The thickness is a sleek 10mm, impressive for housing an automatic movement and an open case back. The case back isn't screwed down, but secured with 5 screws, offering a respectable 10 bar water resistance that's held up well in everyday use. Pair that with a secure signed screw down crown and you're good to go. When we dive into the case size, it's kind of amazing how it fits onto my 6.5 inch wrist. Honestly, it's so well designed that there are times I completely forget I'm wearing it. It's not exactly light, but the case shape is so tailored to the wrist that it almost feels like it's a natural extension of my hand. The original setup came with a slick leather strap and a signed buckle which gave it a classic vibe. The leather strap held up nicely for just over 3 years, but eventually it started showing signs of wear. That's when I decided to switch things up with the NATO strap. In wrapping up, it's clear that the bond between a watch and its wearer is truly special, often rooted in personal history and sentiment. For me, that connection is embodied by the Mule Glassute Terrasport Lufthansa Edition, a watch that has not only stood the test of time, but has also proven its worth in both form and function. Mille Glassute is a distinguished name in the world of horology. They've been crafting timepieces with a blend of precision and practicality for over a century. Founded in 1869 in the small German town of Glassute, the brand has a legacy marked by six generations of watchmaking excellence. Known for its commitment to robust, reliable engineering, Müller Glassute has constantly produced watches that cater to both the demands of professional use and the taste of discerning enthusiasts. What sets Müller Glassute apart is its humble approach. Unlike some of more flamboyant luxury brands, Müller Glassute focuses on delivering genuine value rather than relying on ostentatious marketing or inflated prices. Their watches are designed to be tools first and foremost, reflecting the Bauhaus principles of simplicity and utility. As I keep wearing and savoring this timepiece, it reminds me of why we fall for watches in the first place. And I think is their perfect mix between artistry and personal meaning. So while the mainstream luxury brands may garner more headlines, it's more enduring quality and genuine craftsmanship of brands like Mule Glassute that truly really deserve our appreciation. I will leave you with a few glimpses of it now and I look forward to catching up with you in the next one. And because this is a German watch, vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen, vergesst nicht den Kanal zu abonnieren und einen Daumen hoch zu geben, bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss!